One of our great uh, native plants to the southeast U.S. is our native sable miner, often called scrub palms. Unlike its, uh, its brother, uh, sable palmetto, which grows very tall with a big trunk, this one, the trunk is dyslexic. Instead of growing up, it actually grows into the ground, which is why they cannot be transplanted. So the trunk on this one is probably somewhere between three and four feet deep. They will grow, we've documented them as much as five foot deep. And every year, the trunk pushes deeper and deeper. So the roots are down on the bottom of the trunk. So other than moving seedlings, if you're one of those that stop up and down Interstate 95 in the east and you know go out and I'd like to have a palm and dig one up, you can get it up, it just won't survive. So you really have to go in with something like a backhoe, excavate it, and that's the only way you can actually get to the bottom of the trunk. It's an interesting group depending on where you're finding them. There are some dwarf forms uh, in Florida that have been completely hardy for us here in Zone 7B, 8A. Uh, some of those only get a foot tall. And then there are giant forms found by some of our uh, local palm nuts, uh, Gary Holler and some of his uh, contingent, down at the coast of North Carolina and Oriental that will get six to seven feet tall. Again, no above ground trunk. The one that I find interesting is this one. This is Sable Miner McCurtain. This is from a population in Oklahoma. Now, you don't generally think of palms growing naturally in Oklahoma, but America's been glaciated 17 times, so plants have been moved all around, and this population got left in Oklahoma where it's reportedly been through minus 24 Fahrenheit in the wild. So that's a pretty tough palm. Uh, like with any palms, you want to plant them early in the season after last frost, plant them all through the summer. Don't plant them in fall because they just won't get established enough to really survive in case we have a hard winter. But a pretty amazing plant for some of you that like to grow things uh, uh, out of zone. Uh, we've just cut the flower stalks, which were here. The flower stalks are about eight foot tall. They have big black seed and we've just harvested our crop. So we'll, uh, we'll cut these uh, down. But what an amazing plant. Looks great in the winter looks great in the summer. Uh, it grows in the driest ground imaginable. It's happy as a clam, yet in the wild, it generally grows in the most moist area. It will actually grow in standing water. Uh, so that's a pretty amazing plant. It grows just as well in shade as it does in full bacon sun. There are very few plants that are as adaptable and amazing in the winter garden for winter interest as our native sable miner. We hope you give those a try.